What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority and the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge have been out on the market for quite some time now. And if you're still having a hard time making a decision on which one to buy, we're gonna put these two phones head to head and help you decide. This is the Samsung Galaxy S7 versus the S7 Edge. All right, so before we get into this comparison, I just wanna quickly throw out a disclaimer. I'm gonna approach this one a little bit differently than your usual comparison. Uh, so because they share so many similarities and a few differences, I'm gonna break this into two categories. I'm gonna talk about the similarities and then I'm gonna talk about the differences between these two phones. So let's go ahead and start with the similarities. So a lot of the similarities between these two phones will lie within the actual hardware and internal specs. So they're both being powered by the Snapdragon 820, Adreno 530, and four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, they also both have micro SD card expansion, which is a feature that Samsung brought back this year. So if you love expandable storage, you have that option again with the S7 and S7 Edge. Uh, another feature that Samsung brought back is water and dust resistancy. So they're both uh, IP68, which means you can dunk them in a the toilet, uh, use them in the middle of a rainstorm, and they should be perfectly fine. Uh, they also both have fingerprint sensors embedded in the home button up front uh, and the fingerprint sensor works extremely well it's very fast very accurate so you really shouldn't have any problems at all with this fingerprint sensor another feature that these two phones share is on the back and that is the camera so it's a new and improved 12 megapixel sensor with f 1.7 aperture and optical image stabilization it's also utilizing dual pixel autofocusing technology which creates for really fast autofocusing and it is by by far the fastest autofocusing system I've ever used on any smartphone. It is seriously that fast. As far as actual image quality goes, if you don't already know, the S7 takes absolutely incredible looking images in pretty much all lighting conditions. Uh, yes, it does have the tendency to over sharpen a little bit, but for the most part, the images do look really, really good. And it's not really gonna matter whether you're a hardcore smartphone photographer or just the casual user, uh, you're gonna be able to get some really good looking shots with this camera. Now let's go ahead and talk about what makes these phones different. And some of these differences are naturally gonna have some similarities as well, but I went ahead and categorized them as differences and you'll sort of understand why as I go through and talk about them. So the first difference that I wanna talk about is the design. So they're both made of glass and metal, which means they're very high quality, very solid feeling smartphones, but this also means that they're slippery in the hand and also fingerprint magnets. Uh, and that's sort of to be expected when you're dealing with a phone that is predominantly made of glass. Um, now the biggest difference here is the actual size of these two phones and the slight design difference with the S7 Edge. Uh, the S7 Edge is a slightly bigger phone than the S7 uh, due to the bigger display. So if you want a phone that's easier to use in one hand, uh, you're gonna wanna gravitate towards the regular S7. But if you want a phone with a bigger display and that curved edge glass, then you're gonna wanna lean more towards the S7 Edge. Um, both of them do feel very comfortable in the hand, but again, the S7 is the easier phone to operate if you care about one-handed usability. Now that brings me to my next topic, and that is the display. Uh, so the S7 has a 5.1 inch screen, whereas the S7 Edge has a 5.5 inch screen. Uh, both are Quad HD and both are Super AMOLED. So you're getting those vibrant saturated colors, those inky deep blacks, and those high contrast ratios. Uh, the main difference here is the extra screen real estate that you get on the S7 Edge, which means you're going to get a much better viewing experience when it comes to things like YouTube, uh, watching movies, and playing games. The S7 Edge also has that curved glass, which brings some extra functionality, but I'll talk a little bit more about that when I talk about the software. The next big difference between these two phones is in battery life. So the S7 has a 3000 milliamp hour battery, whereas the S7 Edge has a 3600 milliamp hour battery. And if you want a battery life warrior, you're gonna wanna go with the S7 Edge. It easily lasts a full day and sometimes a day and a half depending on how you use it. Uh, now the regular S7 gets pretty good battery life too, but just keep in mind, it's not gonna be anywhere near as good or last anywhere near as long as the S7 Edge naturally because it has 
a smaller battery. Now, both of these phones do have wireless charging and fast charging, so you can take advantage of those features on either one of these phones. Uh, but if you really want the best battery life possible and battery life is of utmost importance to you, then you're gonna wanna go with the S7 Edge. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the software. And again, I'm not gonna dive too deep into all of this because if you wanna know more about these two phones, you can check out the individual reviews, which will be linked down below. Uh, but they're both running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow with Samsung's TouchWiz or whatever Samsung is calling their interface these days. Uh, so the overall experience between these two phones is going to be pretty much identical for the most part. Uh, you have a lot of the same features like multi-window and palm swipe to capture and all of the other motion gesture features. And then you have a lot of the same applications like S Voice and S Planner. And then the icons look extremely cartoony and bright, but you do have the option to theme them with Samsung's theme store and change it to whatever you want it to look like, or even make it look a little bit more like stock Android. Now, where these two phones differ in the software is in the Edge features that you get with the S7 Edge. So you have things like the Apps Edge, the People Edge, the Task Edge, and the variety of different Edge panels that can show you information such as stocks, sports scores, and the weather. And I will admit that these features do take a little bit of getting used to, but once you do make that adjustment and get used to them, they can actually be pretty useful. The final difference and probably the biggest difference between these two phones is the price. So the S7 Edge costs an extra $100 over the regular S7, and you're basically gonna have to ask yourself if those extra features like the bigger display, the bigger battery, and the Edge functionality is worth that extra $100. And for some people, it totally will be worth it, and for some people, it may not be worth that at all. And for some people, the price may not even really be a factor. They just want the regular S7 because it's a little bit smaller and it fits better in the hand. Uh, so there's a lot of different factors that come into play when it comes to picking between the S7 and S7 Edge, and it all comes down to what you really want out of a smartphone. Uh, but hopefully this video helped you make a decision between these two phones, and hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. We definitely appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already and follow us on social media like snapchat twitter instagram google plus all that good stuff feel free to follow me on twitter as well those links are all down below and again check out the website at androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things android